you know that there's a sin that God won't forgive? You're gonna wanna stick around to the end of this video or else you might not know if you're doing it and what to do about it. What sin is linked to stress, anxiety, depression, diabetes, and high blood pressure. You don't even have to believe the Bible or be a spiritual person to know that unforgiveness is bad for you. The fields of health, psychology, and science all show that unforgiveness hurts people physically, mentally, and emotionally. And this will blow your mind. A few weeks ago, a lady that goes to my prayer group had a stroke, her second one actually, but that's not the interesting part. Her second stroke was a year to the day of her first one. A few weeks before the stroke happened, she had been on her knees begging God to heal her from bitterness. And she told him to do whatever it took. Now when I saw her walk in after she had had this stroke, the look in her eyes was different. And I silently asked God, what happened? And I heard the words, I healed her bitterness. But I didn't say anything to her about it. And what she said next will shock you. She told the whole group of ladies that God had changed her bitterness. Sometimes he answers in dramatic ways. And I'm gonna share with you my own story in just a moment. So my name is Mary. Mary actually means bitter. I would always go out of my way to look out for others' needs and help them and make them happy. And <clears throat> people please her. But when my undying devotion was not returned in equal form, it would turn into bitterness. And I didn't know this at the time, but it was building up steadily for a good portion of my life. I was 30 years old and a stay-at-home mom of my four kids. We lived in an off-grid tiny home that we had built ourselves. Well, it got to a point where I just could not handle life anymore. I was breaking out in hives. My allergies were getting worse. I was crying every day. Well, it got so bad that I couldn't sleep for days. I was having nightmares when I was awake. And one night, as we were pulling into our driveway, I got out of the car and collapsed face first in our gravel driveway. I was having extreme paranoia, panic attacks, all sorts of scary stuff. But even during this, I was crying out to God. And I promised him that if he got me out of this, I would serve him the rest of my life with everything I've got and I wouldn't hide my gifts anymore. But that entire experience and the recovery period afterwards shaped me. It melted away every ounce of bitterness and unforgiveness that I had ever had against anyone. And my life has changed miraculously ever since. I'm living our dream. We're creating an eco village in North Carolina. My lifelong social anxiety is gone. I sing and speak on stage now. And my marriage and relationships are getting better and better and better. And it's all because of this process of the art of letting go. It's called surrender. Now, thankfully, you don't have to go through a life altering experience like a breakdown or a stroke to have this kind of deep inner change. I'm gonna give you four steps that you can put to work right now. So step number one, ask yourself who you haven't forgiven yet. Number two, actively choose to forgive them. Because guess what? You are only hurting you by holding onto your past hurts and traumas. Step number three, ask God directly to reveal to you your secret sins. He'll show you if you ask. Step number four, repeat this process over and over again until you don't have anyone else left to forgive. Forgiveness is a process that takes time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Watch the next video on your screen right now to learn more about God's calling on your life. I'll see you next time.